A lot of the time when people use computers, they go back and forth between headphones and speakers. And it can be kind of an annoying process to switch your outputs whenever you do that. Well, NZXT has come out with now one of my favorite devices that helps simplify that whole process and make it as easy as just picking up your headphones. Even in my own setup, I go back and forth between headphones and speakers all the time, but there are people out there that I know that do it way more than I do. And we're in his setup right now. It's Dogcoin Snid, my friend that you've seen on the channel before. And we're here shooting with John himself and Brandon has agent hanging out in the background as well. So when I saw that NZXT had this product in their lineup, but I haven't really heard too much about it, I reached out and asked them if I could check it out. And they sent one over, so I brought it over into John's setup and decided, hey, let's test it out. He's had it now for a while, and he's been able to figure out what he likes and doesn't like with it. Hey everyone, Doggoin here, talking about the headphone stand from NZXT. It's been pretty life-changing for me because I was going back and forth between speakers and a headset almost every day, multiple times a day. Being able to put it on and take it off in an instant, it just is game changing. Some of the things I don't like is it's a little hard to use with an existing speaker uh, setup that I have because there is an uh, EQ knob on it and it doesn't really navigate that real well because it has an integrated one. And um, also it's not as aesthetically pleasing as I would like for my setup. There's some headphone jacks that come out the front of it and I'd rather they be positioned in a different area. But overall, um, the main concept of it and the utility of it is actually very, uh, very good to me, but I would definitely recommend it to somebody who's using headphones and speakers and wants to go back and forth at, throughout the day because it's something that I don't think I can live without now that I have. Before using the NZXT headphone stand, I was using my 3.5 millimeter jack and plugging into a Logitech EQ coming out of the old speakers I had. That eventually took its toll and the 3.5 millimeter jack started to get loose. So I was getting one speaker in my headset working and the other wasn't. I'd have to mess with the, the 3.5 millimeter to get them both come out in stereo. So over time, it, it's not something that was gonna last forever and I needed a solution. So this NZXT stand definitely came in clutch and has been that for me. Some people might see it as a downside or maybe even not, but it is a three and a half millimeter based solution, even though it connects to your computer via USB. <sighs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> Being three and a half millimeter base, this means that your speakers will need to be three and a half mil and your headphones will need to be three and a half mil. However, it does also support headphones with a microphone. So that would be the one that has two separate ports coming out of it or two separate cables. And you use a little fader on the device itself to switch between what the knob controls and that being the headphones or the microphone. Uh, that means that there is limited support for wireless devices and USB headsets. So that is something to think about when considering a device like this. Another point of contention on this might be that it's kind of expensive. It's $130. Now, depending on who you are and how much you use this, that might be $130 well spent. But on the outside looking in, if you're just shopping around and come across this, you might cringe at the price just a little bit. I'd say if it was closer in the $60 to $80 range, it might be a lot more enticing. At $130, it kind of hurts at first, but it's definitely one of those products that I feel that the more you use it, the more it'll feel worth it to you. So maybe in a version two, they'll move all the ports and connections to the back of it instead of having stuff sticking out the front and some stuff sticking out the back. It's not really like congruent in its design in that uh, just yet, but like I said, they have room to grow with something like this. So version two, maybe it'll add ports to the back. Maybe they'll even add support for some sort of wireless type of solutions. Who knows? If I wanted to make something like this in its existing form, go wireless, then I'd buy Bluetooth headphone adapters and plug one into one end and plug one into my headphones and boom, just like that, I have wireless headphones with, you just lift it up off the stand. But that is a roundabout solution, so it's not gonna be for everyone. And the last thing I think that a version two may benefit from is a longer cable between the stand and the control box because some people are gonna want that stand separately and have the control box somewhere closer for you to reach. And in its current form, it kind of has to just stay together. So right now in this setup that I'm sitting at, if I wanted to adjust that volume, I have to reach way over here. Like I'm leaning over to get to it. Whereas uh, I would have liked that on my right arm over here and the stand on my left side right here. And everything's just a little more comfortable that way, but it doesn't come with a long enough cable to do that the way it is. That's something else I'd have to buy a different kind of cable to extend it 
and again, roundabout solution, but not the best thing. So if they included something longer like that in an in update to this device later on, I think that'd be great. What did you guys think of the NTXT Switch Mix? This has got to be one of the cooler devices that come out in recent memory that really improves the usability of somebody's setup. A lot of stuff comes out that time to time that, you know, it's a cool little thing or it's another keyboard or it's another mouse or just another screen and they all do the same thing. This does something different and that stands out to me. Anyways, if you want to see this live in action, check out John's stream. I'll link it down below and check out my stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition Chris. If you like this video, also hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Follow these guys. This John right here has ages. They're streaming all, all the time, every day. 24-7. 24-7. Non-stop. 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 Uh,